Hey everyone, this is Steve from Publish Press here. And in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the notifications feature in Publish Press. There are a ton of useful features in this plugin to keep your team organized when you're writing a lot of content. If you look at the main header image on the WordPress listing, you'll see that the calendar screen is featured. But one of the features that people use just as much as the calendar is just a couple of links lower down. It's the notifications. And what the notifications do are send you emails in the free version or also Slack notifications in the pro version. And those notifications keep you and your team up to date on any important changes to your content. Before we dive in and show you exactly how to configure each notification, let me show you an example of how they work. We have one default notification here, which will send notifications when new content is published. I'm going to go to Posts. I'm going to click Add New. And my title will be, this is a notification test. And if I want to, I can save this as a draft and add some more content, upload an image, make some more changes. But all I need to do to trigger the notification is click on publish. This new post is now live on my site. And if I go to publish press and notifications log, I can see that a new notification has just been sent. This went out by email. You can see the date. You can see information about what triggered the notification. The old post status was draft and the new post status was published and the person responsible was Steve, me. I have information about exactly which post was used to trigger this notification and I have information about where it went to. It went by email to this email address. And if I click on this eye icon, I can view the message. Okay, the subject was, this is a notification test, which was the title of the post. There's a little message, and I have information about the post, including the author. So, this will happen by default as soon as you install Publish Press. In the notifications area, it is set up so as soon as you install the plugin, you will start to get new emails sent to the site administrator whenever new content is published and also when new editorial comments, which is a feature of Publish Press, which allows you to comment internally on posts. You will get a notification whenever a new editorial comment is added. Let me show you how that other second default notification works. If I go to my posts and click on edit for the post I've just created, there's an editorial comment underneath. This comment will only be visible to the people who are working together as a team on this content. Okay, I've added that comment. And let's go back to Publish Press and the notifications log. And there we go. We have this new notification. This time, it says that the notification was sent when an editorial comment was added. It has all the key information about which post triggered it, where the notification was sent. And these are going to run by default. You're going to have these two notifications up and running. However, you can configure your own notifications. If you click on the add new button on this screen, you're going to see four different options on the page. The example that I'm going to use for this new notification is sending an email to the editors on the site. The editors are there to proofread and check content before it goes live. So my new notification title is going to be Email editors when content is ready for review. Okay, so when the content is moved to a new status, that's going to be my first choice. Now, let me think this through. I'm going to be sending emails to people who are creating and working through new content that then needs to be approved. 
So, definitely new. An auto draft pitch assigned in progress. So these are some of the extra statuses that come with Publish Press. And I'm going to leave the other statuses blank because they are for published content or scheduled content, which is ready to be published. I don't really need any of those because this is for content that needs to be shown to an editor. It's not ready to be published. So I'll leave those boxes checked. And for the new status, pending review. So let me review that one more time. This notification is going to trigger whenever any content is in one of these early stage statuses and is then moved to pending review. So it's ready for an editor to check. When it comes to the post type, we could do posts and pages or really any custom post type you have on your site. But I'm going to set up these notifications just for posts. And then when it comes to who is going to get the notification, I could choose users. I could choose individual users, or I could choose the authors of the content or even the site administrator. But what I really want is to send these notifications to the editors. These are the people on the site who are specifically there for approving content. In the subject, there is a new post waiting for your review. And in the body, this is a new post. Over here on the right side, you can see short codes that can be added to your content to put this key information into your notifications. The main one you may want to use is this little short code at the top. This is going to contain the title of your post. And if you want to modify this to add the author or to add the old status or the new status or any of this extra information here, this is what you do. You put the extra information such as the permalink, or the date, or the time, just after the first part of the shortcode. So this will show the date that this content was added to the site. This will show a URL, so that people can see the content. Uh, in this case, they'll be taken to a preview of the content. There are an awful lot of these short codes available. The best way to get familiar with them is to scroll down and click on this link at the, the bottom of the list, and it will take you to a detailed overview of how to configure all of these different short codes. So let me review this quickly. We are going to send a notification as soon as content is created and then move to the pending review status. This is going to be only for posts, and the notification is going to go to the editors, to anyone who is in the editor user role. This is going to be the title of the email, and this is going to be the body. Okay, let me publish that, and let me show you how it works. We'll go to posts, add new, and this post Need to spell check at the very least before it goes live. So I'm going to save it as a draft. I'm going to work on it a little bit more, maybe add some images, add some more text. And then when it's ready to send to an editor for their approval, I'm going to save it to the pending review status. If I go to Publish Press and the notifications log, I will now see that I have a new notification that's been sent out. There was one user who was in the editor role and they received this email. It was triggered whenever editors have content that is ready for their review. The old content was draft. The new content is in the pending review status. This is all the information about the post that triggered it. And this is the information about where we were sent to. This is who we were sent to, 
it was sent by email and this is the email address that it was sent to. If I click on the eye icon, I should now get a little preview of exactly what the notification was. Okay, this is a new post, the title is, okay, maybe I should go back and edit the notification and put some parentheses around this, but everything looks pretty good. The preview, okay, this is the link, that looks good as well. If the editor gets that, they'll be able to click on it and see what the pending review post looks like. I'm all set up. If you need to, you can go back to notifications and create more notifications. For example, you could email the members on your site when there is a new post on your site. We have a example set up when you first install Publish Press that will send an email to the site administrator when new content is published. But what you could do is select any status that is not published, select the published status. So whenever any content is moved to published, this workflow will trigger. And then you can choose posts. And then when it comes to the roles, you could choose subscribers or contributors or authors or really anyone who is registered on your site. You can enter the subject, enter the text, and then Publish Press will automatically send an email out to all of those people whenever you put new content on your site. This probably won't scale too big. You probably won't want to use this if you have 20,000 or 25,000 users on your site. This is not really designed to be a email system. You should probably use MailChimp or Constant Contact or something for sending out large numbers of emails. But hopefully that gives you an idea of what you can use this for. Publish Press is a really useful plugin for keeping your whole team on top of what content is being published on your site. And the notifications is a really key feature of that. If you head over to publishpress.com, you can find out more information about Publish Press. And if you get the pro version, you can get extra features such as Slack notifications and the ability to send out reminders before and after the published date for your content.